set it up on the tripod. You know what, I'm thinking this way. So I'm gonna set my tripod over there, aiming that away. Well, with these two cameras, it's gonna be visual time-lapse. So it's gonna take pictures every 10, 15 seconds. So if there's things seen around the group, these two will pick it up. And then I'm gonna also set up the WMD so that we can look this way. In fact, it can be turned any which way, depending on where we might see something. Okay, now I'll add the other camera on. Oh, geez, there he is. He's right at it. Oh, you've got the move on, boys. Chomping at the bed. Oh, you mentioned? They were all inside it, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, here's one. Okay, so we're going to go through some of the footage from last night. Preliminarily, I went through and I saw some things that I've never seen before. And, um, you know, it could be terrestrial. It could be uh, our stuff probably is but I don't know I've never seen this I've never seen this type of behavior put it that way so we'll start with the first video okay now when we go to use any of this stuff we can obviously crop out the, the vehicle there if need be no I don't see it there okay let's try in the second one because I think I see it there let's make it big yes oh yeah look at that Do you see Oh yeah, yeah. Yes. Look at going round and around and around. I'm gonna zoom in on it. And okay, let me play, play it, it again. and watch. Watch this. Okay, there's something just going around and around, and I can we can calculate how much time that was. It's not a plane landing at all. No, he's just going around. I'll just scroll through slowly. Watch. Look at how it goes can you around. Put your finger to it, Rob? Right, right here, this is going around and around and around. Look at that. This is probably like half an hour, continually. So the last one, I'm just looking in the early hours of the morning to see if uh, they were still going around. But basically, what we have here, uh, let me go back to this one. We have, it looks like surveillance. And if you look, there's, there's a plane that just goes around and around and around, practically the whole evening. So for hours, in two different spots. Now, it's possible there's a perfectly good uh, explanation for it, exercises. But I can tell you that, you know, when you have a group of people that are doing CE5, and of course, you know, ours is advertised and it's free for anybody to see, especially the military are going to want to check out and see how deep are we getting into this. Are we overlapping into areas that are very sensitive that they don't want or they at least want to know and maybe even follow us what we're doing uh, I know that with Greer they literally follow everything he's doing and um, they don't really interfere but they just they're a little bit of a pest you're just kind of looking over your shoulder because legally we have a right to assemble we have a right to sky watch we're on private property we're not hurting anybody um, but I think they're just watching us. And there's no reason to be paranoid. It, it's actually proof that we're going places, we're discovering things, we're seeing what's in the sky. If there was nothing to see, it would be like, move along everyone, there's nothing to see, mm -hmm. right? And, uh, but yes, there is things to see. There are things to see and, and we're seeing them. 